Hi everyone, welcome to The Last Drop. I am Chris, thank you for joining me today at Whiskey Diary. So yeah, June. Where did June go? Another month gone under these conditions in the UK and the rest of the world. Um, interesting month. Uh, yeah, big shout out to London Whiskey Club and Somerton Whiskey Club, uh, which are predominantly what I've got in the book this month. Um, let's get stuck into it. Uh, first up, you know, hit that subscribe button if you like this content. Um, really would appreciate it. And yeah, comment down below what what is your favourite whiskey you've never tried before but tried this month? Comment down below. June. Favourite June dram. June dram. Cool. <laughs> right. Straight into it, uh, London Whiskey Club, Isle of Rasse tasting. Very, very good. Uh, very interesting to get there. Basically, they bottled pretty much like several different uh, barrels, uh, which is going to go into their blend or their single malt. Um, vat is it vatting? I think, yeah. So they're going to put all these together to create their first whiskey, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, first up was Virgin Chickapin Oak, uh, 25 months old. Uh, it was fruity, had that bready nose, uh, honey, ginger, sweet, dark fruit. Very, very nice. Uh, next up was the X Bourbon. No, not ex bourbon. Ex Bordeaux red wine. Uh, 26 months old. Uh, very fruity and pretty again. Uh, so you definitely got their new make spirit flavors uh, were predominant. Uh, savory spices. Uh, the echo was very much berries and blackcurrants, as you'd hope to expect from a red wine cask. Uh, next up was an ex Woodford rye cask. Uh, 25 months old, much lighter on the nose. Uh, the rye spice did come through in the end though. Very, very nice again. Uh, next came up, so they had three unpeated and then three peated. Uh, the first one was again, it was the same. So they had like the same barrels uh, and then put unpeated and peated in it. Uh, so virgin oak chicken pin. Uh, light peat and a smoke came through, uh, barbecue, sweet bacon, uh, water brought out some like wood char, you know, so I've got them written down, uh, bread notes sort of went or disappeared a bit with the water. Uh, then we've got the ex Bordeaux red wine, uh, again, fruity peaty. Uh, a lot more peat came through on that one, I thought, uh, compared to the chicken pin. Uh, so yeah, that was really good. Uh, and then the last one was the X Woodford Rye. Uh, really nice again. Peated spirit is lovely in what basically is X bourbon. Is what I wrote. Uh, it's basically X bourbon because I think Woodford would preserve it. Is 53% rye in the mash bill, so. That was good. Uh, just highlighted the uh, quality spirit. Uh, they did give us a little thing. I don't think I wrote it down, or wrote it down even. Uh, I mixed them all together and it was quite cheeky. It was quite nice. Uh, but yeah, I tasted them individually and then in the end I just poured them all together and it was very nice. <laughs> uh, about 61%, so these are all cast strength stuff going on. So, But yeah, really good. Um, really interesting to see what their whiskey is going to be like in about five years time uh, I know they're going to release later on this year beginning of next year but I think it, it's going to need time uh, and but yeah we're really, really interested to see what it comes out like in the future uh, so when was that that was on about third of the sixth though it was bang at the big beginning of the month uh, midway through the month just had a little little um, peat night by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, 15 for the 6th, so I finished off the Island Hopper Scalisag, 
uh, that I got from Summerton Whiskey Club Virtual Festival last month. <sighs> uh, finished that off, deep sweet, smoked, smoked meat. It was it's a lovely, lovely dram, really worth recommending that one. Uh, then I had some Lagavulin 8 year old. Uh, again, fresh peat, more, more fresh peat, more than the smoke, um, but a bright light citrus uh, sort of element going on as well. Really, really nice. Really like that ball. Probably one I would replace. Uh, then I had uh, my Port Charlotte Scottish barley, heavily peated. Uh, definitely meatier than the Lagavulin, um, but has a, a vegetal, vegetal note to it. Again, very, very nice whiskey. Uh, then came along a fantastic evening with the London Whiskey Club again, uh, 17th of the 6th, Douglas Lang. Uh, what a fantastic night that was. Uh, Fred Lang, uh, or Lang, told loads of stories. Uh, it was a great night. Uh, I think the stories were the highlight of the evening. It was great. Uh, Sevi, um, arranged it most of it or some of it and then the, the London Whiskey Club guys done absolutely brilliantly uh, setting this one up. Um, started off with Tomorrow's Beastie 18, 46.8%, uh, actually had some 19 to 22 year old stuff in there I've written down. Uh, nose, light, fruity, vanilla, honeycomb, taste, cereal, brown sugar, pepper and the echo was a long finish with a cereal note going on as well so really really nice as you'd expect <laughs> uh, then we had an old peculiar elements Jura 54.3% mm -hmm. uh, 12 years old Whew. nose was pear vanilla light sherry going on toffee was sweet sherry fudge and raisins Echo, long, sweet, cereally, and biscuity. Very, very nice Jura. Um, really finding that independent Juras are fantastic, pretty good, you know, the good whiskies. Um, next up was uh, Inch Gower, 21 year old, 53.4%. Uh, nose was hard candy, caramel, and a bit herbal. Uh, taste was barley and stewed apples and it was an echo of long barley finish very very good uh, whiskey indeed that one uh, I think yeah I can't remember what it was but yeah next up was an Invergordon 22 year old 48.9% nose was sweet butterscotch uh, taste was sweet light sugar and a very rummy finish um, Echo, yeah, it was interesting. Fred uh, said to dribble it over ice cream. <laughs> and Roy um, from Macovite, uh, was it said it was very rum-like, which I totally agree with. That sweet, sugary nature that came through, um, just really, yeah, like a like a good good rum from Foursquare, you know. Uh, Next up was Rock Island 21, 46.8%. Uh, Isle, Aaron, Jura, and Orkney all mixed in together. Uh, nose was salty, sweet, with light peat. Uh, taste was more smoke than a nose, deeper than the standard um, Rock Island or Rock Oyster that used to be. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Rock Island, uh, Rock Oyster, Rock Island. Rock Oyster or Rock Island, uh, really, really great whiskey and really worth checking out the standard stuff. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, Echo Long and Smoky on this 21-year-old, brilliant stuff. Uh, then we finished up on a 1998 21-year-old Laphroaig XOP, 53.4%. Uh, nose was delicate peat and TCP. Uh, taste was PT, TCP, not as big as like a 10 year old Lefroig. Um It was still in there, but there was a dusty, musty sort of taste going on as well, um, where you get that age. Uh, and then the Echo was a medicinally barbecue sort of 
Echo, you know, very, very good stuff. Uh, what a fantastic evening that was. Um, if you get a chance to taste any of them, please go and check out um, Douglas Lang's web website. Uh, they've got all their whiskies on there. They produce fantastic stuff, and as an independent bottler, just brilliant, brilliant stuff. And their uh, elements, not elements, what's the word I'm looking for? The Remarkable Regional Malts. That's the what I was looking for. The Remarkable Regional Malt series. Uh, so the Epicurean, Tamiris Beastie, Rock Island, the Goldrons, and the other one, which I can't remember right now. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Big Pete. Uh, um, <laughs> go and go and check them out. They're reasonably really reasonably priced and fantastic whiskies. So then we've got 23rd of the 6th uh, was delivery day, or it might have been the day before, at uh, Somerton Whiskey Club. Uh, so Somerton Whiskey Club, you pay £50 uh, every two months and then you get a bottle of whiskey, which you don't know what it's going to be, um, but the value is going to be probably higher than what you're getting for £50, including delivery. Um, this time was a single cask Glen Ord. Um, so the single cask um, company, uh, a Glen Ord, uh, just yeah, massive, uh, loads of green apples, very light, fresh and yummy. I've put um, great summer whiskey, so it's not um, big and heavy. It's light and crisp and fresh, and really, really nice. Uh, then I skipped to the 28th of the sixth, so a couple of nights ago. Uh, I've done a Summerton flight of the Summerton whiskey bottlings that I've had so far. Uh, so I started off on McMira um, Grand Tete, uh, which was it is really nice. I'm getting a lot of pepper going on now, um, very spicy, hot going on, but fantastic whiskey. Uh, then the exceptional grain. Um, it's a absolutely fantastic um, blended grain whiskey it's, it's really really good honestly check it out and buy a ball just do it uh, and then I finished off with the Glenord but fantastic fantastic whiskey what a month June was July July's looking pretty good whiskey wise I think got a tasting with Sussex appreciation group at the end of the month with some buffalo trace so that should be really good uh, and I got something else I can't remember what it was I can't remember another London Whiskey Club one I think can't remember but never mind <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, thank you for watching again please hit that subscribe and the bell icon thumbs up and yeah, comment down below what your June dram was. It'd be really interesting to know. Um, yeah, try and keep it below 50 quid and I might buy a ball. <laughs> uh, that's the last drop.